Hi, everybody. It's Verver Lawyer Lee. Have you been wondering just why it is that so many people who watched the trial came away believing that Amber Heard was not telling the truth and that Johnny Depp was? The juror who was interviewed said the same thing. The jury didn't buy what Amber Heard was saying. So I've been doing the deep dive back through the evidence, looking specifically at what it was that made people not believe Amber Heard. And today, we're going to be looking at the case of Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, and the clean cocaine table. We're going to be looking at a photograph that Amber Heard submitted as part of her evidence. And the way that the photograph turned around ended up boomeranging to hurt her case, not help it. I'm going to be showing you Amber's testimony or direct and then on cross and the exhibit where Amber Heard lost a lot of credibility. This channel is all about the intersection of life and law. We're glad you're here and please come back for more. Subscribe and please follow me on Twitter. I have the world's smallest Twitter account so you can be in on the ground floor. It's Lawyer Lee W. I'm going to be tweeting about all of the same kinds of things that I talk about on the channel, the most important and most interesting, most newsworthy cases. Now let's, now let's take a look at Amber's testimony on direct about this photograph. Do you recognize this photo? Yes, I do. Please tell the jury what it is. It's a picture I took of my breakfast table uh, that morning. Okay. And... Amber, you said that you took this that morning. Is that yes. correct? Could you tell the jury what the box is that has the property with the skull bones property of JD? Um, that's Johnny's um, you know, drug box. I've seen it used for pills, but at the time it was um, bags of Coke, like okay. dime ba bags of Coke. Okay, so you can clearly see where Amber Heard is heading here. She is trying to set up a narrative for the jury that Johnny Depp abused drugs and therefore Johnny Depp also abused her. That he was not in control of himself and therefore either doesn't remember or even does remember and is lying about it and abused Amber. That's what she would like the jury to believe. That's how she's going to use this exhibit. And then we're going to watch the turnaround when Johnny Depp's cross-examination comes. Okay. And what are these white lines on the table to the left of the okay. box? That is cocaine. Okay. Um, and do you know what is in these two glasses that have kind of a gold colored, colored liquor? Uh, yes, they're different. Actually, it's confusing. They're different, um, <clears throat> different liquids. Uh, the one in the back in the larger glass is, um, I, I believe at the time I um, was doing these tabs or Barocca, that's what they're called. They're little tablets. And, um, anyway, uh, I remember at the time that that's what I was putting my water because they had just come back from France where they sell them. And then the brown liquid in the shot glass is, um, Johnny's liquor. I don't know what it's called, but it, we kept it in the freezer. So as you can see, Amber Bird is not just saying that Johnny Depp has a drug problem and Johnny Depp has an alcohol problem. She's also drawing a clear distinction between what she did and what Johnny Depp did. She, in the morning, had water with Barocca. I had to look that up. Barocca is a substance that includes caffeine and vitamins. So if she's saying, in the morning, I had caffeine and vitamins, and Johnny Depp had cocaine and alcohol. So she's not just trying to say that Johnny Depp abused drugs and alcohol and therefore abused me. She's also trying to say, look at how different my conduct was from his, and therefore, jury, you can believe that I'm not the one who is the abuser. He is. The time was, bef bef you know, at that time, March 2013, I hadn't, you know, um, I still didn't have the, you know, hard line. I won't even keep that, you know, in my freezer sort of attitude or posture with him. I wasn't that bold at the time, you know, I didn't like it, but I didn't have that strength. I kind of, at that time, I think was doing things like trying to pour it out when I could. So, so you can see through this testimony that Amber is telling the jury, Johnny had a problem and I did not. It's Johnny's box. It's Johnny's band. It's Johnny's cocaine. It's Johnny's alcohol. I, on the other hand, had a glass of water with vitamins and caffeine. 
she's setting up a clear distinction between his problem and her lack of a problem. But be sure to stay tuned because you're going to watch how it unravels on cross-examination. So um, what is the bag, the brown bag on the left side? What is the bag, the brown bag on the left side? What is that? You know, his prescriptions and um, cigarette, tobacco, weed, things that, like that. Okay. All right. Now, did you end up sending a copy of this picture to Rocky Pennington that day? I did. I sent it to my best friend at the time and, you know, I was like, look at my morning. Objection. Hearsay. So we've seen the setup that Amber Heard wants to make a clear distinction with her behavior and Johnny's that Johnny Depp abused drugs and alcohol while she did not. She's then going to carry that later into her argument that therefore you can believe me that I wasn't an abuser and you can not believe Johnny Depp because he was an abuser. Abused drugs, abused me. That's the logic she's trying to use, the argument. Let's watch what happens on cross-examination. This is Camille Vasquez, Johnny Depp's attorney, and you'll watch her go through the photograph and we'll see step by step how exactly it is that the story unravels. This is a photograph you took in March of 2013, right? That is correct. One of the first things to notice is that Camille Vasquez does not avoid the issue. It's too big a problem for her to avoid. She needs to address it with the jury. And even more than that, she has a way to address it. She has something she can say that she thinks is pretty persuasive. So she's going to go to this issue and she's going to talk about it. And this was taken at your apartment in Orange? Yes. And this is your breakfast table? That is correct. And it's your testimony that Mr. Depp left this breakfast table just the way you took it? That is correct. So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cocaine? Uh, well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. The very first thing Camille Vasquez is going to point out is a sort of obvious point that there's still cocaine sitting there, pristine lines of cocaine, which have not been used. There are four lines of cocaine on this table, right, Ms. Heard? In this picture, I see four lines. There isn't any cocaine residue around those lines, right? Camille Vasquez is now going to point out the table is remarkably clean. It doesn't look like throughout the night Johnny Depp has been using cocaine on this table. It's very clean and the lines are carefully lined up. So he is it's adding up. Uh, I, not that I can tell, no. Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. I'm asking if you do. You've testified you've done cocaine. I have. Camille Vasquez is now focusing the jury's attention on the fact that Amber Heard herself has already conceded she uses cocaine also. So Amber's distinction between Johnny Depp abused drugs and Amber Heard herself never did isn't really holding up. Doesn't really look like Mr. Depp or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. And then does it stay on the table? There's residue from that cocaine when your lips and nose touch the table, right? Will the tampon applicator next to um, the credit, I mean, um, driver's license that you see is a device that uh, I believe my sister had taught him to use in order to put the cocaine uh, in your nose. Mr. Depp is a pretty heavy smoker, right? He is. Amber did pretty well fielding that question by pointing out the applicator that Johnny might have used in theory, but the table still looks remarkably clean. It still doesn't seem quite right. And now Camille Vasquez is going to point out yet another problem with the picture, and that's the unsmoked cigarette. And, and that's a cigarette in the ashtray in the back there? Um, back right? Yes, it looks like one of his hand rolls. Camille's going to extend what she's saying. If someone's been up all night smoking, using drugs, drinking alcohol, you would expect a full ashtray, lots of cigarette butts, and lots of cigarette ash. On the other hand, there's none of that. There's a single unused cigarette. There's no other cigarettes in that ashtray, are there? I see one cigarette. The one that's not smoked. 
That's correct. There's no ash in that ashtray either, is there? Uh, not that I can tell in this picture. It's pretty clean. In this picture, it looks like it, yes. It's a pretty neat table. Wouldn't you agree? Um, depends. We're going to go back and replay that. I want you to notice how long it takes her to answer this question. It's a pretty neat table. Wouldn't you agree? Um, depends on what you would call neat, I suppose. Notice how very much Amber Heard does not want to answer that question. She takes a long time. She looks away, moves her head back and forth. She isn't interested in answering that question because she's realizing it's not helping her. And you sent this picture to your friend, Rocky Pennington, as well, didn't you? I sure did. And when you sent it, you said, quote, look at my morning or something like that. Is that right? Notice this very skillful term by Camille Vasquez because Amber Heard is sending the photograph to her friend, making a comment about morning and look at my morning. And what we see is unused cocaine, an unsmoked cigarette, an undrunk glass of alcohol. And the implication becomes maybe this isn't Johnny Depp's. Maybe Johnny Depp hasn't been up all night doing this either. Johnny Depp is only about to do it and the whole story has been made up or maybe it was Amber's and not Johnny Depp's at all. Yay for mornings. So you have a habit of sending stage photographs to your friend Rocky, don't you? I had a habit of communicating with my best friend about what was going on in my life. You don't have any pictures of Mr. Depp actually consuming cocaine, do you? I want you to notice how very long it takes Amber Heard to answer this question because she knows it doesn't help her. She doesn't have the photographs and that is a glaring problem. I don't think I have a picture of him mid snort. No. You don't even have any pictures of Mr. Depp with cocaine. What do you mean by that? Holding cocaine, standing next to cocaine. Um, sitting next to cocaine. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you haven't shown any of those pictures like that to the jury, have you? I don't know. I No, I haven't. You can see that by now the story has largely unraveled. Amber's story that Johnny Depp was heavily involved in cocaine and she was not, really is not supported by this photograph. And she doesn't have any photographs that do support that argument. As we go through the evidence, then you can start to see why, generally speaking, most people who follow the trial came to disbelieve Amber Heard. She claimed things for photographs and for other evidence that didn't really hold up. And that's what ultimately undermined her credibility. If you enjoyed this video, you'll really like the first two in the series I did, how based on the evidence, so many people came to believe that Amber Heard was not credible. I'll put a link to those right there. Please like the video and subscribe. I'd love to see you back. And don't forget the Twitter, LawyerLeeW.